<laughs> What's your name, sir? Uh, Dennis Wacker. You can just keep looking at me. And can you spell that for me? Uh, w a c k e r. Where are you from? Where are you going? Uh, we're going to uh, Denver. Okay. And where are you from? Phoenix. Okay. So what are you doing here right now? We're getting ready to get wet. <laughs> we're going to put our uh, rain gear on. So when you saw that storm, what, what did you think? What did you? How did you have to get ready? Well, I knew I needed to get something dry on, or I was going to get soaked. <laughs> Okay. So you can just keep looking at me and see if you just say and spell your name, please. Hi, my name is Patty Stevens, S-T-E-V-E-N-S. And Patty, P-A-T-T-I? P-A-T-Y. Oh, P-A-T-Y. So where are you from? We're from Houston, Texas. Okay, so you guys are driving home? Yes, we left San Diego, been through Vegas, Grand Canyon, and we're trying to get home. So when you saw this storm, what did you guys go over to do? Unload all the luggage from this leaky back and put it in the trailer, because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be really bad. It's Starting really out. getting cold and windy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, good yeah, luck. Yeah, we're getting wet back here, so. Okay. Well, drive safe. Thank Thanks. you so much. Bye. Okay, you can keep looking at me. So what what's going on here? What did you see? What do you think? Um, we were trying to go home, but we just got stuck here, so we have to just leave it off here for a while until the storm goes down. Uh, does this happen a lot? Yes. I mean, this is the first time it happens. This is the first time this has happened? Yeah. Why do you have to park your car here? Look at the water. It has to go all the way. It's coming to all the way from there. Uh -huh. My my house is way over there on the other side. You can't get to your house. No, huh? we can't. Get, uh oh, it's starting again now. Uh -huh. What do you think about all this? Oh, it's just crazy. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Yeah. How long have you lived out here? I've been living here since I was 16 years old. Uh -huh. Is it yeah. framed up, Dave? Is this framed up or? Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah. what are you going to do? I don't know. Probably we'll have to wait here until everything goes out. Okay. And what's your name? My name is Ernest. Ernest? Yes. E R N E S T? Yes. And what's your last name? Largo. Largo. L A R G O. Yes. And where do you live exactly? What town do you My, live in? My um, Cornfield Road. Cornfield Road? What one? And why can't you, why can't you? We can't, oh, I'm it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. We can't go back all the way on the, oh, probably it's all maybe that way. So how often do you drive this road? Every day? Every day. Mm -hmm. This is the first time it happened. This is crazy. How long do you think you'll be out here? I don't know. Until the storm goes out. I can't even make it home. At? This is um, a Yamato Road. And then my house is way over there on Bridge Corner Road. Okay. So when you saw this, what did you think? We just stop here. We just stop here. Look at the water. It's all going over the road. And you said this is the first time this has happened? This is the first time it happened. What's up this road? Is it a bridge? No. The bridge is way over there on the other side. So this they, bridge looks like a, a river. Or this road looks like a river. It looks like a river now. Look at that house. It's all from those, um, what's your disease? All right, well, thank you for uh, talking. That's like. Oh, so you'll have to come in from the top or the bottom? We can't go this way. Too muddy that way. Well, it's muddy the other way right <laughs> now, too. That water's running down through there. Can you tell us what happened here? What's up? With it's just a lot of rain the last couple of weeks, and we're just trying to keep up with it is all we're trying to do. It ain't working. Hello. 
So did, I saw the sign that says bridge out. Is there a bridge out? Yes, we had to close it last night up by the chapter house because it started uh, washing out one end of it. I'm going to try to get up there and get a backfill and get it opened again. When do you think this water will recede so these guys can go home? Uh, it's, it's probably this afternoon sometime. <laughs> But it's hard to say. Another one might come in. That's what it's been doing every afternoon. Is this dangerous for people to try to go through now? Yes, it's it's bad for them to try to go through this deep water because it'll wash out underneath and you don't see it. You're going to fall in a hole. Come back, oh, your resources are distracted from all the flooding down that way? All over the county right now, we got flooding everywhere. I got blades trying to keep the roads open everywhere. So, it's so what is, Yeah, so what does that mean for you, I guess? A lot of hours. <laughs> and what, so what agency do you work for? I'm McKinley County Road Department. Okay, and what's your name, sir? Charles Kindle. Kindle. How do you spell your last name? K-E-N-D-A-L-L. -L. Is this normal? Do you usually see this this time of year? Or? Uh, we usually get uh, monsoons, but not this heavy. Okay. All right, thank no. you. You, you bet. Okay, so are you telling people just to wait here for now? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're, I got two blades around the area to break the debris off the road after... It gets over with, but we gotta wait until the water goes down. Okay, awesome. It's, there's a lot of water. There's tons of water just flowing out, and this, I've never seen it like this. Really? How long have you lived out here? Uh, I don't live out here. Oh. I work out here. Oh, you do? Yes, and um, it's it looks pretty scary. I mean, driving driving that back. Where is the water coming from? Is it, it from looks the like from a, It looks like it's coming from the um, you know the red cliffs up there. Yeah, I don't live. Uh, we don't work that far back, but um, our office is just right off the road. And yes, it's it's a lot of water coming through, and can't even see the roads. So there's a there's a tractor out there, but he's just trying to slow the water down. There's a couple of um, culverts that are culverts that are ready to um, pull down. And what's your name? My name is Laverne. Laverne, can you spell that for me? L a v e r n. And your last name? Moore. M o o r e. Yes. Okay. And so you said you work back here? Yes. Okay. Where do you work? With our Bezos construction. Okay, so you do you work for construction It's a good company. thing you got this big truck. Yes. Would you recommend people try it in these little cars? No, <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. It's it, it is though. It's it's pretty scary just coming down from where where our office is located. We live on a um, on a hill, so there is a lot of water coming down, and there's a lot of um, ruts that are being made. So it's it's pretty deep. Are people uh, stuck up there? Are people trying to get through? Or I don't. I, I only saw one vehicle. Um, one vehicle. Um, I, I don't know. Did the red car make it through? Yeah. It, okay. It did, it did okay. Actually. Well, there's another vehicle, and they can't get across the. They can't get across their little culvert. It's it's just water's just flowing right over that culvert. What about the bridge? Is that the bridge that people are talking about? Is no, the bridge is further back, and and um, it's closer to the chapter house, the um, Ayambito chapter house. So I don't know how, but I, I know there's another um, back road that they would take around to possibly maybe get to the office. Or okay. Okay. And so is it today? I was I was here yesterday. No, it was not like this. It was just a, a lot of um, ponds, huge ponds, and I'm just like, and I noticed right up here on the church that road um, washed out as well, okay. right in front of the church. What is the closest city to here? The closest city would have to be Gallup. Gallup. Oh.
questions about what's going on over here? What's your, what's your name? Wacy Carviso. How do you spell it? W-A-S-E-Y-C-A-R-V-I-S-O. Okay, and what's your name? Chasley. Chasley? Chasley Carviso. What's her name? Chasley. How do you spell that? C-H-A-Z-L-E-Y. Is she your sister? Or? She's my sister. Okay, so what's going on with all this mud and stuff? Yeah. The mud? Yeah. It's not really that, that much mud, it's just too much water. Yeah. What do you think about what is the when you guys have too much water over here? What does that do for your family and stuff? Getting around. It don't really affect us because we live on a hilltop up there. And yeah, just these guys that are in the lower parts are getting kind of flooded out. Do you need this to get around? Oh, uh, not really. No, you can get around your car. Yeah. Okay, who's this guy? His name's Woody. Okay. Well, have fun. Okay. I don't So they just kind of let them roam around out here at Fort Wingate. So it's Yambito? Yambito. I don't know where Yambito Please spelling and saying your name. Steve Arviso. Can you spell that for me? S-T-E-V-E-N-A-R-V-I-S-O. And what's your title here? I'm the vice president of Yambito chapter. Okay, so what's going on with this road? You know what? Uh, we have no idea. We just don't have enough outlets for the water to come out. It comes up against Santa Fe Railroad, and it just kind of makes its way wherever it wants to. We have a couple. Of, we only have one ditch back here that the water can go through. But when that gets packed with trees and de debris and blocks it off, it has no which way to go but down, down this this old 66. And so you, why did you? Why is this road closed off now? 
it's flooded. Um, we don't want people to be crossing it or endanger anybody's lives. We don't know how deep it is right up front. So we just pulled one man out here earlier, and it's pretty deep. You could see these kids playing in there. It's knee-high deep. Right. And you mentioned you kind of went through too, right? Yeah, well, I'm the one that had to go and rescue the, these guys. And yeah, it's about knee-high right up to about these posts here. So what do you guys need to kind of fix this problem? You know what, I think we all need to come together and um, address these problems together, the county, the state, and, and the Navajo Nation. Everybody just needs to come together so stuff like this don't happen. How long do you think these people will be here? They will probably be waiting here about an hour. I don't know how long they've waited. We just pulled up because we we're assessing other damage in, in the Yamato area. Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you for talking to me. Three, two, one. Right now, traffic is backed up on Route 66 because this road is flooded. Officials believe it's about two to three feet deep. Okay, three, two, one. Traffic is backed up on Route 66 because this road is flooded. Officials say it's between two and three feet deep. Is <laughs> three, two, one. This, oh, sorry. Three, two, one. Traffic is backed up right now because this road is flooded. Officials believe that water is about two to three feet deep. So flooded the day. What happened? The water and the stripping kept. Uh huh. Yeah, all that full water get in the, the sports up wire. What happened to your car? Uh, it just died on me when I'm going across. What happened? Did, did people get you through? Who got you through, and how did they do it? Huh? Uh, we just cleaned it off, so. Mm -hmm. and then it started again right away, so I'll be on my way again. <laughs> it was the worst over torture in my house. I guess okay. I can't make it. What's your name, sir? Oh, uh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo, and what's your last name? Marinito. How do you spell your last name? M A R I N I T O. Marie Marinto. Marinito. Marinto. Okay, great. Thanks, Lorenzo. Yeah. Tell me, what's uh, what's okay. all this dirt here? You got a lot of dirt on the front of your car. No, it's just, when I'm on crossing that water, that's the ugly. Yeah, is that all from yeah. the water? Yeah. Then it's uh, the motor's running, and that's all inside. Then the motor just shut off. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah. So this guy's pulled me off. I really would like. Okay, well, good luck. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative. Okay, okay, good luck. I hope yeah. the car works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need you to say and spell your name, please. Uh, my name is Kevin Alonzo, K-E-V-I-N-A-L-O-N-Z-O. Okay, and where do you live? Uh, I live in Mariana Lake. Okay, is that close to here, I don't know? Uh, yes, just right over to Mesa here. Okay, so what happened here today when you drove up? What did you see? Uh, I was just here, just wanting to go horseback riding, but I got stuck here in the, the storm. Mm -hmm. 
What did they tell you when you were trying to make your way across? I just came in and I've seen the traffic here, so. How long have you been here? Waiting for like 35, 45 minutes now. What do you think when you kind of look at that road completely washed out? Man, if, if I can, if I had a bigger truck, i will make my way through, mm -hmm. but I don't. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of frustrating to be sitting here waiting or? Uh, no, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> i never seen it like this before, so. Okay. Usually it just washes out through the, the ditches, but now it's filled up here in the church. Great. Well, thanks for talking to us. Sure. I appreciate that. Bye. Can I walk through? Sure. Uh -huh.